Welcome to our snowman draw along. Um, this is an example of what we're going to be making today. So there's going to be an adult snowman and a child snowman. And we are going to be using crayons, an eight pack. So it's your basic colors in here. This, this one's brand new. These eight packs are only ever used with kindergarten. So if you get a pack and it's beat up, you can only blame the other kindergartners for doing it. You can't even blame the big kids because they haven't touched them. So you are going to be drawing along with me today. So I'm gonna have everybody open up their crayons and why don't you just go ahead and set them beside you and then I need you to pick up a black crayon and on the back of your paper, you are going to write your name and class code. So funny. You guys are K C, but if you're joining me in another class or this is already recorded, it's either K A, K B, K C, or K D. And you're going to need your black crayon. When you're done with that, flip it over. And you can hold up your crayon real high in the air so I know you're ready to go. All right, very good. So, right now, Mrs. Shardle put our template, which has basically the bottom of the adult snowman and the very bottom um, of the child snowman. We're going to put the middle and the top on and watch first that I'm going to let you draw. So we are going to do like a letter U so that's smaller and a smaller letter U. And we're gonna do it over here too. So a smaller letter U than the bottom one and a smaller letter U. You can go ahead and draw at your seats with your black crayon. So now we have our large, medium, and small circles for the different parts of the body of our snowmen. I'm going to go ahead and put a top hat on our large snowman, our adult snowman. So I'm gonna draw a long, short, or skinny rectangle with a square on top. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a line separating it that. And this is one of the things that you can color in with black. This is like a frosty, the snowman hat. On our child snowman, let's put on a winter hat. So that is going to be a long, short oval with a triangle and a little circle on top. Why don't we go ahead and give our 
snowman some eyes, two circles colored in black. Boop, 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 boop. And while we're at it, let's put our smiles on. And then for my adult snowman, we're gonna put a bow tie on today. So I'm going to draw, watch first, a square right underneath his chinny chin chin. And two triangles coming out from there. So from the corner, I'm gonna go out and in, and out and in. And then I'm going to do little buttons down the tummy of that snowman. One, two, however many fits. Three. I'm going to put some on the bottom, two. And now I'm going to put down my black crayon. and pick up an orange crayon. And I'm going to put our carrot nose on with a long skinny triangle. Long skinny triangle. And now I'm going to pick up a red and give them some rosy cheeks. And I'm going to pick up a brown. And we gotta give them arms, right? So why this one's so cute is because they're holding hands. So we're gonna do something very similar to that. I'm going to have, now this is on your middle because this is like the torso or the tummy and the shoulders of your snowman. It's going to come downward. And I'm gonna put on a sideways V. And this one's going to come out towards that other one. And I'm gonna put on another sideways V. And maybe my little kid is waving, so I'm gonna put an arm up. My upside down V. And I'm gonna put this one going down, like so. So now I would like for you to pick up your favorite color. Mine is green. <clears throat> favorite color and underneath the neck of our child snowman I'm gonna do like an oval and color it in and this is gonna be a scarf that we're making here And from that scarf, you're gonna draw two long, skinny triangles. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and color the triangle of my hat in my favorite color too. And then I'm gonna 
pick up another color, maybe, um, I'm gonna do purple here. Color, the cuff of my hat, purple and the little ball. And then your choice in color, going to color my bow tie. And the sash on my hat. And when you are done with that, the last step is going to be to put in snow and snowflakes. So you're going to pick up a blue. And hold it up in the air when you are ready so that I know you are ready. Very good. So right now we have super, no, these snowmen are super magical. They're floating in midair, but we want them to be sitting on the ground. So we are going to underneath the very bottom of our snowmen, do a bouncy blue line underneath that one. And it's not gonna go all the way across. It's just gonna go right there. And a bouncy blue line under that one. Not all the way across, just right there. Because behind the little booties of our snowmen, we are going to put a bouncy line and bounce it some more and some more all the way off the paper so it looks like they are sitting on top of snow. <coughs> and last but not least, I'm going to show you how to draw the simplest type of snowflake. Are you ready? You are going to draw a plus sign. And through the middle of the plus sign, you draw the letter X. Notice that my snowflakes aren't huge. They're just little snowflakes falling all around. So plus sign and an X right through the middle. And when you are done with your snowflakes, you are done with today's project. This is going to go with you today. And if you have extra time, you can use the crayons to do a free draw or coloring page. But before we get that, let's talk about how these crayons go back in the box when it's time to clean up. The tips are going to go upright. So you're gonna slide them in very carefully. If you have to do it one at a time, that's fine. The last one can be a little tricky sometimes, but do you see how I'm holding my crayons on the side? If I do that and just wiggle it a little bit, a lot of times I can get my last crayon to slide right inside there. These get folded down, this gets slid in, and then we are going to return them all nice and neat to our container so that they stay in good shape for next time. 